Hey there everyone and welcome back to Son of Nor episode 2 with Crixus the man in the hat. Uh, I got an overwhelmingly positive response from episode 1 guys. It was just mind blowing. So uh, definitely, definitely going to keep on doing this. This is so much fun. I really enjoy it and I'm glad that you are too. When we left off I had just finished helping the townspeople around here and they wanted me to go out here and fight some dudes. However, I did notice uh, one issue I had, um, at least for me, maybe there's something wrong with my settings. The quick save and the quick load don't seem to work for me. So when I opened the game today to uh, record this, I actually had to redo helping the people on this level. Um, but not a big deal. But while I was exploring, I came up here and noticed like this path doesn't lead anywhere, but there's this door here, or this rock that looks cracked. I wonder if we can break it. This looks like the sort of thing that some sort of a secret would be hiding behind. So I'm gonna, we're gonna chuck this rock a couple of times at it. Mmm. It doesn't seem to be working. No. Oh, can I directly control this, though? Is he giving me that? No. Okay. Well, maybe there is something behind there, and maybe I just can't break it, like, with this specific rock. Get out of here. Hopefully that doesn't kill someone. Oh, no, it cleared the canyon. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so I'll, I just wanted to check that out. Um, not a big deal, though. It took me, like, ten minutes to, uh, to get cleared, so... Uh, got some good ideas from you guys. One of you wanted me to try and uh, dig some holes under the lizard men, and I was testing how far away I can do this from, and it seems like decently far away. I'm not sure if I can... It depends on the angle that I'm at. Like, if I'm a little higher up like this, I can get... I can do it from a little further. One thing to keep in mind... Uh, is that there is this, like, this just hard rock surface uh, that I can't drop it below that. So, it may or may not work quite like that. I'm guarding a spot while I look for this. Okay. So, we gotta go this way then. Got it? So, we're gonna go look for the Sarahul, who I believe are those lizard guys. How about you? I suggest you use the road past the drawbridge. It will give you an advantage over the enemy. Good luck and remember eyes on the target, okay? Can I pull the drawbridge down? I can take those sticks out, sort of. Okay, so that one just popped out. Ooh, ooh. Let's see if we can catch. Nope. I was trying to uh, click it just in time to catch it. So... We go forward this way, very carefully. I can pick up, oh, can I just take this whole thing apart? Okay, I'm definitely gonna take one of those with me. The question is, okay, I was gonna see if there was several of them just around this corner and I could just do the mass levitate, but this canyon is, ooh, ooh, hi guy. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, there he goes. He's going. Let's go. Let's try and save our friend. They were back this way. Oh. Well, I saved you anyways, buddy. There's another one coming. And another one. Come on. Okay. We got three of them that were trying to ambush our friend. Now we'll go back on. Good, good, good. Okay. We're off to a good start. Saved our friend. Hmm. They were down here. Are there going to be more of them that are further down? Can I pull you apart? Yes. Let's... Take bigger chunks out. Okay. 
And this way, in case we need some emergency weapons, we will have them. Nothing down there that I can see. It looks like it might turn a corner. This one definitely does. Ooh. We have some enemies down there. Can I nail them from this far? Not from this angle, it seems like. Okay, I think I just have to jump and clear that gap. Oh, I got him. Or I got one of them at least. And they don't see me, so can I do that again? Oh, I nailed him. Okay, let's keep going. Try and get him. I want to get him from range like this as much as possible. Okay, that one didn't connect. Let's take the little one. It'll be a little easier to get through the gap. Oh, damn it. Just bounced right over him. And then we'll take the big one here. Ooh. Oh, man, these things... I just noticed this, but these all have, like, their own individual gravity values. Like, that one that was way big took a lot longer to move around than the smaller ones. Do I have more? No, so I just have to keep going then, it seems like. But those guys are injured, I think. It, they may be dead. I can't really tell because they turn sort of like orangey when they get injured I think they're like right below me yeah they're still moving so they're definitely still alive so let's take some rocks let's get all of these out of here and carefully Ooh. Oh, they see me. They know about me. No! Ooh, I'm gonna have to bleep myself there. I think I just died from fall damage, though. Okay. That was an accident. Are they still just right down here? Come on. That is not at all what I meant to do. Okay. I don't think I can get them from here. This is just a very bad angle to try for it. So let's keep going. Huh! Made the jump. And can we make this one? This is going to be a hard jump. Huh! Oh! Woo! Now can I see them from here still? No, but one of them is dead, so... I guess that'll work. Maybe I can get a ricochet off. No. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, these all have like their own seemingly individual sort of gravity values. Make it... Oh! Whew, some of these are really dangerous jumps. Oh! I did not even see him there. Can I get some rocks right here and toss them at the guy? Okay, let's try get the smaller rocks for now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, I hit him, but I died from the fall. Oh, no, I didn't die from the fall damage. Just... I don't know how it is that I'm going to get down or back up. I don't know if I can get back up. Can I make it back up if I go up this thing? Will this let me jump up it? I don't think so. Ooh, maybe. No. I think we're just going to be stuck down here for now. So let's take this rock with us. Because there will... Oh, there you are. Okay. He's coming. There's more of those guys back here that I haven't killed yet. That was my only rock. 
Oh, wait, wasn't there one I could break up? Yeah, there's one I can break up right back here. Come on. Woo! That was a close one. Okay, can I kill these other ones that were back here still? Can I get you? And is the other one... That one's definitely dead. Okay. Oh, I can mass levitate that dude, too. Whoa! They shatter if I pick them up when they're like this. Dude, that is so cool. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. I want to take this rock with me. Because I don't know if or when I will get more of them. I don't like being down here. I really liked having the high ground, but that, uh, the rock, I was controlling it, and it just kind of pushed me off. Okay, so there's guys over there. They don't see me, so let me break this up so I'll have more ammunition. Oh, I just got hurt by that rock I was trying to control. Okay, let's get the small one. No, this is the smallest one, it looks like. This will be the easiest to hit them with and attract their attention. Come on. Okay. Let's pick you up and throw you at your buddies. Does that attract them? No. Doesn't seem to. Come on. Come on, guy. Are you stuck in a rock? Well, won't be stuck for long. Because now you're dead. Gotcha. Let's smash you. Oh, I hear... Oh! That was the, just the... I won sort of sound. Okay. Nora's on our side. But this is barely the beginning. The Sarah will host these scouts. These came from will be waiting for their return. With time, their absence will be noticed, and that would mean the end of our people. We have to take advantage of this situation and strike first. Go back to the Radir. We have to plan our next move. Where is Noldrick? He's been missing since the attack started. Okay, so we need to find Noldrick. Let's, let's just give this guy a proper burial. Come on, I mean, I crushed all his buddies. It, it only seems right. Oh, well, I can't really fold the sand on top of him, but... Oh, there we go. I can lift it up over him. There we go. A proper burial. Can I lift his machete? No. That would have been super cool if I could just, like, pick up that sort of his. Okay. I'm going forward more. I think this is the correct way. I got a little turned around when that cutscene started. Okay, so this doesn't lead anywhere. Well, no, it leads up here and there's sand here, so this is just a puzzle. So I just have to raise the sand up. Come on, raise it up. Oh, didn't quite make it. I can just raise it up under my own feet though, can't I? Oh, almost. Can I just raise the whole section? If I raise the whole section up, then maybe I can reach it a little easier and it won't fall quite as easily. Come on, a little bit more. Made it. Okay. Nice. We got some rocks here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could have just done that when I was, when I fell and needed to get back up. Let's take you with us. It's, a, it's like a pet rock. Oh, okay, we're back here. We're back here at the, uh, the drawbridge now. Okay, so let me talk with you. When you feel overwhelmed, you can stun them with a telekinesis shockwave. I don't know how to do that. Is that just this? Is that a telekinesis shockwave? Oh, damn. That hurt. Okay. There might actually still be some enemies down here that didn't get killed. Unless, like, maybe 
when I get the cutscene, the game auto flags it is done. Let's just break them apart. Oh, is this? Aha! This is a special thing, it looks like. It looks like. How do I... Is this maybe just where a special thing will be in the future? Because it doesn't seem like I can connect, collect it. I can't right click or... Do I do the... Oh, whoa! That's the... Okay, so that's got to be what the telekinesis shockwave is. I shift and then I right click. Can I throw a rock at this thing? Okay. That kind of thrusts me forward if the rock is behind me. So I've got to be sure to be really, really careful about it. So. And I uh, did realize that because of the save needing, or the, the quick save, at least for me again, not working quite properly, um, I need to, okay, there's them. Is this the way I go? No. Let's go talk with them again, see if they'll give me a clue on where I need to head next. Um, I need to just complete the level, because once I've completed the level once, I can meet me at the Radir, and if you see Noldrick, bring him with you. Okay, what is... Oh, oh. Oh, that's the guy that we buried. He just popped out of the sand. I don't know what the Radir is. Is that the base camp that we were at? Or is it up this way, maybe? Because this is a way we haven't gone. Um, no. This is another just empty little canyon. There's not even sand here, so I can't actually get up to any of those points. But trying to just explore everything, part of that is for just because I don't actually know where it is I'm supposed to go at the moment. Maybe through here? But another part of it is because since this is a beta of the game, then it can always be useful to try and get feedback on things like what works and what doesn't work. Is that as high as I can raise it up? Yeah, seems like it. Okay. Well, I was thinking that might might have been a puzzle sort of thing. I kind of want to test. Could I have gotten back up to that cliff? Because I think through here is where we raised the sand and got up a minute ago. Yeah, that's where we just got up. So, back over here, kind of near where we fell off at. Yeah, right there. Or anywhere around here, actually. Would I have been able to just lift this sand all the way back up to the cliff? I think I would. Come on, let me control the sand. and then just walk up. Yep, I sure as heck could have. I could have just walked all the way up here. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that. Okay. Well, I'm out of places to go that I can see. What's that? That's another of those little orange power balls or yellow ones, but I can't actually get to it again, or I mean I, I can if I do the sand. Let's go back down where I just came up and then go around there and we'll try and uh, see. Oh heck, that's hurt me. We'll see if maybe I could um, could reach that or if it will actually do something if I do manage to reach. I think it was right up above here. Yeah, I think so. So let's raise the sand. Come on. Keep it going. It seems like this is the way to do it, is just with some kind of, like, quick strokes with the, uh, the mouse. Bring it up a bit. 
Oh man, I was looking more on on the uh, Son of Nor forums and the Kickstarter page and stuff. I realized this is one of the reasons I had backed it originally, but I had forgotten about it. Um, they are getting this to natively support Oculus Rift and something called the, I think it's the Epoch. It's this new thing that, um, oh gosh, can I get up here? I'm hoping that this will actually be a thing and it's not just like a waste of time to try and get here. Come on, raise me up. Oh, made it. Okay, whew. Now can I collect it? It seemed like it lit up brighter when I walked through it. Does that mean I collected it? Okay. Now I guess we will just head back to the... Uh, there's probably an easier way to get that thing too than what I just did, but whatever. There's that one. We got it. I wonder if those are scattered throughout like all the levels. And there's just a certain... Oh, what's this? This cave thing. Can I go in here? Can I throw a rock through it? I did not see this. Okay, now that is sort of a force field, it looks like. So maybe that's a place to go to in the future, but at least for now, it's not accessible. But yeah, it, it, with supporting the... I think it's called the Epoch. It's this... I didn't even explain what the hell it was. It, um... Oh, I'm stuck. It lets you I don't I don't know how it works, but it like scans your brain waves. Oh boy, am I just stuck down here forever now? It scans your brain waves as you're playing and lets you use your thoughts to control it. Like I have no idea how it would work, but it sounds just super cool. Okay, so this is a little jumping thing. And from here, I do what? I can't jump through there. It doesn't seem like this has been finished yet. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll find out. So, so it, it supports that. I don't know if the support is in the game yet or not, and I don't have one. Um, but, okay, we got back up just on that corner. But, it sounds super, super cool. Maybe in the future, I will, uh, I'll pick one up, and then we'll get to see what it's all about. But for the time being, it just blows my mind that something like that is even a possibility. Oh, this is the way back. I thought that was a wall for a minute. Okay, so let's see if... Are you... Terraforming not only works... Oh, but it makes enemies lose mounts. Okay, so maybe I can dig holes under people. I didn't even think about doing that. They're just... I, I was too busy breaking, uh, breaking them into pieces with, with the rocks. <laughs> okay, so... Is this the place where I meet him at? Up here? Do I talk to you? No. I don't know where that, what that place is. The, the Roderick? Is that what he said it was called? Um, oh, oh, okay, here we go. Only scouts, we have an arcsin. They'll never buy us time. Be silent, human. Oh. Oh, that's a thing. That's a... Did they just glide through the wall, or is that a fake wall? It is a fake wall, because I just walked through it, too. Oh, level statistics. <laughs> Three deaths, ten kills. Oh, it took 33 minutes? Well, that's including the time that I used doing that. Um, telekinesis pickups 90, 56 thrown... Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I'm super, super excited about how big of a 
a response that you guys gave me for episode one. Um, I'm going to look into maybe doing these a little bit more frequently. I had originally been planned on doing them once every other day, but maybe more often, you know, depending on how much you guys like them. So just let me know what you want. I'm going to go ahead and record another episode here too, here in the same sitting, just in case y'all want it the very next day. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.